And you know, it actually talks about that in John 3.16. Yes. It says, God so loved the world that He gave Amen. His one and only Son. You know, the, the biggest part of all this that we have to understand, yes, there is evil around the world. Yes, things do bad, people do bad things, right? And then there are others, and, and please uh, understand me right over here. There are people that might be in your life that you see them doing the right things. Oh, yeah. Would you agree with me, right? And, and so many times, I, you know, when, when I speak to a lot of people, I hear such things like this. You know my aunt? You know my uncle? You know my grandparents? You know the back of the... Oh, there are brothers in prayers. The, oh, the sister. Wow, she prayed a lot. Like, the faith that they had towards God was so strong, right? Mm -hmm. What that reminds us of is, look... God is in existence. Yes, right. there are bad things that's happening in the world. But through prayer, through seeking the face of God, we can really see who the Lord is in our own lives. And we can see the miracles that could happen through our own, oh, yeah. our own, our own lives on, on, on the earth that we live. Mm -hmm. You know? But <clears throat> I will tell you this, is the evil and the bad things that do exist onto the earth today, how we can overcome those things, Zare mentioned it, Haraj mentioned it, is through love. Mm -hmm. So what does it mean to do that through love? You see, when somebody does the bad to an individual, automatically the one in front of them wants to get revenge bad and do the worst to the individual. When Christ came on earth, he did the opposite completely. What he did is he showed love. And how he showed love wasn't by words. So many times we want to show love by words. Haraj mentioned a relationship, you know that your spouse loves you every morning because they're with you and they're committed. Those things are not words. Those are actions. Right. The way we could show the love of Christ to overcome evil is with our own actions. Right. You see, to be a likeness of Christ is not a word that's said. What it really is, is our lifestyles to become Christ-like. Mm -hmm. how, do how do we do that? How do we do that in, 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 the, in the midst that we're all living in today? By relaying on God. And how we do that is making our faith stronger. And how do we make our faith stronger? How do we make our faith stronger? By going to our inner room, getting in our knees, and seeking the face of God. And how do we do that? By allowing what we are and who we are put aside and allowing Christ to rise in us. And in today's world, it's so hard to do that. And the reason why is because time is so valuable to a lot of people. It seems like we don't have much time throughout the day. It seems like 24 hours is not enough. It seems like seven days a week is not enough anymore. We are so busy with life alone. You see, with all the things that's happening, a lot of people are following a lot of uh, news, social media, right? And they're hearing all the bad and panic starts happening. And inside you, instead of speaking the good, automatically the bad's starting to happen. The reason why it's covered all around. Mm -hmm. But my brother and sister, those who believe in Christ, we should start opening our lips mm -hmm. and show the love of Christ through our own life. Mm -hmm. And how we do that is when that bad comes, we stand firm in Christ and allow the love to come out of us. Mm -hmm. what, how do I, what do I mean by that and how do we do that? You see... You can only show the love of Christ when somebody comes to you in the wrong way and does something wrong to you. And how you do that is a time of temptation. You see, when they do the bad, you don't just go there and go, okay, you know what, I'm going to get back to you. You stand there and say, you know what, Jesus loves you. I bless you in the name of God. You guys remember the story in the Old Testament about David and Goliath? Mm -hmm. You see, Goliath was never ready to face David. Mm -hmm. Why? Because Goliath was a warrior. Well, David was a young boy. But when David approached Goliath, for Goliath, that was like, what's happening? Like, why would they send a boy? What, what's wrong with the Israel people? He wasn't used to, or he wasn't expecting such thing to happen. You see, so many times when these evil things come, it seems like it's expecting you to do more evil than the evil that's there, that's there currently. But what we should end up doing is the completely opposite. Show the love of Christ. And how we do that is in connection with God through the Holy Spirit. Amen? Amen. Amen.